Okay, so my next step, since outside I'm seeing a little bit of damage um, underneath, right where the refrigerator sits, right here, I'm going to have to pull out the refrigerator also because there's a nut on one of the bolts that the way they designed this thing is the only way you can get it out is to pull out this the refrigerator, refrigerator and the Fleetwood since there really isn't a lot of documentation on any of this um, how to pull out refrigerators or anything to do with this I've looked up and I don't know if there's just not a lot of them out there still but there not a lot of information on this so let me try to set up this camera so I can get a good shot of how I'm taking this out all right first of all I want to do the outside part where need to disconnect or disconnect yeah you disconnect the power disconnect the power and I, I just had them already loose Trying to do this before the rainstorm comes in. Yes, it actually rains down here. There's and here, let me get you a little bit closer. There is a screw right there. And there oh great, that looks like a lot of fun. Somebody stripped that screw. Okay, that's gonna be fun. But first of all, you wanna of course I'm not connected to shore power or LP gas is not on, but you disconnect your power right here. Boy, this one's pretty tight. There you go. Um, and I check the LP, which is right here. I'm gonna disconnect that. I'm gonna undo those two screws, and then I'll do the un undo the inside. Let me get you back so you can see the whole thing. This is the bolt. I'm hoping you can see that. You see. Yeah. This is the bolt right here that has the nut that's down in the wall. And the only way you're gonna be able to get it out is to get this. Even I mean you can get a wrench down there maybe, but it'll be a little difficult. You know? Looks like there's all kinds of screws that I'm gonna be replacing. At least that's not rusty. And I know it's a Phillips head, but I've, I've got a flat head that I'm doing it with because it's such a large, as you can see, this is a large um, Phillips head. So putting in the flat head, especially when you have a stripped one like this. A little bit in the line still. All right, so this should be good to go. I don't see any weird bolts. 
aren't nuts but then they can put in there this is your drain hose for this too coming from your freezer when it drains out so that's why you have to watch this area too all right first of all on the dematic you there's a little clamps right here um plastic clips right here that you just press in which is really nice on both sides and it popped right down you can get disconnect your wires right now but i'm not going to have to but i i would recommend always take a picture of the way the wires are set up because by the time you get back to this it may possibly be a few months and you might forget where it goes all right with this one um a little different than i've ever seen usually there's a screw in here but it was like a tab so i'm thinking that may possibly be it for this top part yep it just kind of floats right now which is okay different and then we have oops we have two on the bottom let's see two bottom screws which are phillips head and i will get my handy dandy let's see usually it's only four but we'll see to remove this all the way um, because I just need it far enough I can get to that nut right now unless I have some damage underneath which won't be fun And I need to move my tools out of the way. And like I've, I've been told, a lot of these refrigerators that fit in these truck campers, um, you pretty much have to disassemble them to be able to take them out the door. Well, luckily, my refrigerator is working just fine. Although, the one thing that you have to get used to on these three ways, where they're battery, electric, and propane, they tend to take a long time to uh, cool down. Um, I recommend that before you leave, just plug them up to shore power, um, close it off, and then you can, um, as you travel, you can run it on battery if you want to. It, it's going to pull from your vehicle battery too, um, and also the house batteries. check it out and well there's wall damage but oh that's probably a real close up of my refrigerator all right let's go back outside all right well that's where that nut is located down in there so yeah we're gonna see if this can happen the floor on this thing oh that's kind of flimsy plywood but it's not connected to the main floor that's underneath it may be water damage oops I forgot to hit the cord again I was able to get my wrench in down here along the wall and the nut came off with it but be able to pull this off so I'm gonna be able to see 
how I can get to a lot more of the damage underneath. Um, I might have to take this bottom piece out here and drop that floorboard because this board it is screwed in so it may I may be able to just pull the refrigerator all the way out I can cut the uh, this white and red line and uh, I'll just solder back together um, but I'll be able to get to it a lot easier but I plan on putting like a diamond plate around this so I can get rid of this whole part right in here and uh, we'll have to replace the tin that I showed you before. Um, but I'll put a diamond plate around there and on the other side. And probably each one of these, I'll put diamond plate around them just to give a better seal. All right. So that's good on that. I wonder if I can get some of this done today before beat this storm you know I thought I lived in a desert area but when they come they come I got it undone doesn't look too bad on the surface. Yes, this is a little dry rot up right in here. They're probably, I mean, that seems pretty solid, but I don't know. We will see in the next few days. I will know.